assalamu alaikum dear students today we are going to discuss coulomb law what is coulomb law the magnitude of force between the two point charges is directly proportional to the product of the magnitude of the charges and inversely proportional to the square of the distance between them what does this mean this means that for example you have two charges uh, q1 and q2 uh, there exist a force between them this force may be attractive or may be repulsive so the magnitude of force between these two charges is uh, dependent upon the magnitude of these two charges uh, greater the magnitude of these uh, two charges greater will be the force between them and uh, also the force between them depend upon the uh, distance between these two charges that is r so greater the distance lesser will be the or smaller will be the force between these two charges and greater the magnitude of these two charges greater will be the force so mathematically uh, we can write uh, coulomb law as f is directly proportional to the product of the charges q1 uh, and q2 and is inversely proportional to the square of the distance between these two charges we can write these uh, two equation as equation 1 and 2 so if we combine uh, both of these equations we can uh, write it as f is force is directly proportional to q1 q2 divided by r square we can replace this proportionality sign with equal and a constant k here this constant k is known as constant of proportionality and uh, its um, numerical we can write this uh, k as 1 over 4 pi epsilon not so what is epsilon not we will discuss this uh, later on so first of all what is k k is the constant of proportionality the k value depend upon two factors which two the, the first one is the value uh, the unit which we use for these quantities like for charges for the distance and uh, for the permittivity so system units the k value depend upon the system units what units we use for these uh, quantities and the second thing thing is the medium used between them uh, what kind of medium for example we are using between the two charges whether uh, for example these two charges we are discussing so if uh, the the medium between these two charges is air so the k value will be different if we uh, use any uh, material uh, like insulator between this between these two charges so in that case the k value will be changed so now we have to uh, know the value of k the value of k without any material medium between the charges uh, mean to say if we do not use any medium between the charges uh, if the medium between the charges is air or vacuum so uh, in that case the k value will be 1 over 4 pi epsilon not or numerically we can write it 9 multiplied by 10 power 9 newton meter square per coulomb square here we used newton for force uh, uh, and meter for distance between the charges and coulomb for charges so if we change these units so the value of k will definitely will be changed uh, here we have epsilon not what is this epsilon not this epsilon not is known as permittivity of free space mean that we can obtain this value uh, from uh, coulomb law Uh, if we do not use any medium between the charges if uh, air is the medium or vacuum is the medium between the charges so in that case the k uh, epsilon not value will be 8.85 multiply uh, 10 power minus 12 coulomb square per newton meter square we can define epsilon not as the property of the medium which affect the magnitude of force between the two charges Bef uh, before proceeding further uh, let's understand what is epsilon not we say epsilon not is permittivity of free space space what does this mean 
if we have two charges this is q1 this is q2 this ch charge will have electric lines of force if it is positive for example it is uh, and this one is negative this is negative so in that case for example this charge is uh, emitting electric lines of force for example the number of electric lines of force are 1 2 3 4 5 but when it reaches to charge q2 their number decreases to 3 this charge just receives 3 electric lines of force the remaining 2 are absorbed between the space uh, uh, between these 2 charges so the force which q1 have applied on q2 is reduced why because this permittivity some of the charge uh, some of the electric line the force is absorbed by the medium greater the absorption of these electric lines of force by the medium uh, smaller will be the force between these charges uh, and vice versa now to write the forces in the form of vector in vector form uh, we can write the force like f21 that is equal to k q1 q2 divided by r square r unit vector here f21 represent force on charge q2 due to q1 for example we have here two charges q1 and q2 the force which is exerted by q1 on q2 is written as f21 and here what uh, are one to represent are one to represent a unit vector this shows the direction of force for example uh, in this case here we have charges q1 q2 so if this charge apply a force on q2 in this direction so we write a unit vector 1 2 this unit vector shows the direction of force and f12 represent force on charge q1 due to charge q2 that uh, that is equal to k q1 q2 divided by r square r unit vector 2 1 from charge q2 to q towards q1 then we have nature of forces so if the charges are same mean if both the charges are positive so force between them will be repulsive and if one is positive and other charge is negative so obviously the charge uh, the force between these two charges will be attractive for same charges force is repulsive for opposite charges force is attractive then we have coulomb law in case of material medium earlier we just discussed that uh, the, uh, coulomb law without any material medium or air between the charges now we will discuss what happens if we place any material between the charges uh, what uh, how is how does it affect the force the coulomb force so when we introduce any material medium between the charges in that case we introduce also introduce a factor that is equal to that is epsilon r is equal to epsilon divided by epsilon naught what is epsilon epsilon is the permittivity of medium mean to say if uh, how much electric lines of force are permitted when there was medium and epsilon naught is how much electric lines of force were uh, transmitted through the medium to the space between the two charges when there were there was when there was no medium between the charges or the medium between the charges was air so epsilon r is dimensionless quantity why it is dimensionless quantity because it is the ratio of two same quantities epsilon and epsilon naught we can write this equation in the form of as uh, epsilon is equal to epsilon r epsilon naught so in case of medium we can write coulomb law as f medium is equal to 1 over 4 pi epsilon 
q1 q2 divided by r square we can rep replace this epsilon with epsilon r epsilon naught so also we can write this equation as f medium is equal to uh, 1 over epsilon r into 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught q1 q2 divided by r square this whole term is equal to uh, coulomb law in case of vacuum when there was no medium and uh, we always have epsilon r is equal to epsilon uh, by epsilon naught value greater than 1 this ratio will always be greater than 1 therefore the uh, coulomb law in uh, coulomb force in case of medium will always be less than the coulomb force in case of vacuum or air thank you for watching